I have a son and a daughter uh, are interested in carrying on the family farm for another another generation and uh, we're here to get some information as to what we need to do to make that happen you know uh, we've got concerns about you know where we're going to go with our retirement how that's going to uh, affect uh, the transition and they need to also know where they're at as far as what the income capability is uh, and carrying on their operation and uh, you know we want to see them succeed and we they talked about a lot about to this point about sweat equity and being fair with the other siblings that are not involved in the farming operation and so this this is the kind of information that we're looking for we need to uh, consider what the ta tax implications are in the transfer this is a, a big concern. Uh, we want to be fair to the siblings that are not involved in the farming operation. Uh, this was something that we've discussed and uh, you know we want to uh, help <coughs> whoever transitions into our farming operation to be a success uh, as far as training uh, them as to what the operation is involved with now for what my wife and I have been doing for years. Uh, we went through a, a transition period from the time I took it over from my father. Uh, and we want to make sure that transition goes as smoothly as possible. It's just something that has to happen. We can't just wait to see what happens, you know, without any, any kind of planning because that's a disaster waiting to happen, you know. We need to have some kind of plan in effect so that we know what's going on uh, my wife and I and and the kids know what's going on uh, you know what they can expect down the road uh, right now we we neither one of us have any idea how this is gonna go and we we need to start making it happen we've had the farm and the family now for over 100 years 114 years I guess it is I'd like to see it carry on for at least another generation and generations to come uh, because once that farm is is broken up that's it it's it's just gone and uh, we'd like to do what we can to preserve not only that heritage that we have <clears throat> been able to hang on to uh, but we want the kids to be able to make a decent living uh, we've we've done worked hard both my wife and I to keep the farm buildings up and keep our, our farm uh, productive and uh, you know we, we we need help we need guidance we need people that we can go to to help us uh, transition into the next generation we'll let them take the farm where they want it to go <coughs> as we did when we took the farm from my father and uh, when I took it over, we were in the dairy business, you know, and I expanded the operation from about a 12 cow herd to a, a 50 and 60 cow herd and put in new facilities. And but, you know, and at that time, when I worked in the farm, I worked in a partnership with my dad and then into a rental agreement and then into a purchase agreement. And when we went into the rental agreement, the purchase agreement, I was starting to invest a lot more time and money into the operation. And my dad was looking at retirement. And he really wasn't interested in pouring thousands of dollars into the operation at that point. So, you know, it, at that time it was a crossroads for us to decide, okay, are we going to continue on or are we going to forget it and go someplace else and do something with our lives and that's kind of where you know we're at that crossroads my wife and I and the kids are at that crossroads themselves they'd like to see the farm stay in the family I'd like to see it stay in the family but we need to know what we need to do to make that happen